I'm Danielle M and welcome to my channel today. So for today's act of kindness, I well before I tell you guys what it is, I want to say I got this idea from my friend Yvette. She's just a personal friend of mine, but a while ago she had posted on her Facebook that she was at the park. This was like last summer. She was at the park and somebody had left a book on um, a picnic bench table bench at the park <laughs> and it, they were basically leaving it there for the next stranger to find. They had read it and then they wanted to pass it on to somebody so they left it there and she was able to sit and read it at this cute little bench and um, take that book home with her and I thought that was like the coolest act of kindness idea and so I want to thank her for this idea. It's definitely not something I came up with but I thought it would be really fun and because it's Easter we are going to go to a playground <laughs> and even in the darkest night you shine so bright leave a whole bunch of books at the playground. Now I did get all of these books off of Amazon and I will show them all to you guys really quick but I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of nervous about this one. Number one it's like kind of just starting to get warm here in Wisconsin so today's high is like 57 which might not sound super warm but when you have had like a negative degree winter and like super cold as soon as it's warm like today you know I'm hoping that kids will be at the park but I'm kind of nervous that like it's going to be empty. <laughs> so if that happens, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll have to come up with plan B on the fly. So we'll see what happens. But we're going to go. We're going to leave these like on the slide, um, picnic tables, like wherever we can find. And hopefully all of them will get taken by kids today at the park. I'm also not sure like how to do this as far as like if there's kids already there like you know being discreet and just kind of leaving them places I don't know <laughs> I don't really have a plan you guys we're gonna kind of just go with it and see so with all that being said I do think this would be an easy act of kindness if you have just like one book so my friend Yvette she obviously she didn't find a book for kids she found an adult book so you could just leave like a novel or a book that you really enjoyed on a table for the next person if it's like walking trails or just somewhere where you know a lot of people go to. In Florida, like this would have been great. And I know for certain that my books would <laughs> my books would have been gone instantly. So if you live somewhere where it's busier, it's warmer, then this is probably the perfect act of kindness for you and it'll probably be a lot easier for you. I have to do this either today or I have to wait until Saturday because those are the only nice days this week. And it's also been really windy, so I'm kind of worried about leaving some of these books. For instance, this one, really thin. And I'm just kind of worried if it's going to fly away or like what to do. So I don't know. <sighs> That's why it kind of makes me nervous. Again, we're just going to kind of go and see how it goes. We're just going to go to the park. We're going to do this. I will show you guys really quick, though, what books I got. So I tried to get a range of... Easter books as far as like what kind of Easter books, um, what ages, so some I did get a whole bunch of like younger ones. They all look cute. I got 12 books in all so you know hopefully we can find 12 kids. My kids loved these books when they're little. Each page has that little mouse, and they don't tell you this in the book, but you have to try and find him. He's hiding on each page of every book. So if you guys didn't know that, my kids used to love to try and find where the mouse was. Cute book. Some of these have stickers in too, which I was surprised because I didn't know that when I ordered them. For instance, this one has got stickers in it, so that's really fun couple Berenstein Bear books. Can't go wrong with some Berenstein Bears. Another Berenstein Bear book. This one also has stickers in it. Maybe those both do. This one just looked kind of funny. There was an old lady who swallowed a chick. 
like that one. And then this is the last children's book that I got. Okay, so I did get 12 of these Easter cards. And my plan is just to say, Happy Easter, please only take one. That way, the hopefully, you know, one per kid, they won't take like, <laughs> like one kid won't come to the park and take all 12 books. So we are gonna write that in there. <laughs> We're gonna go to the park, see how this goes. You guys are gonna come with me. We're gonna see like how this plays out. I'm kind of nervous about this one. I don't always get nervous, but this one I am, and I've been trying to rack my brain. If this doesn't work, like what else can we do with these Easter books? Because obviously I can't wait until really after Easter to do this one. So we gotta do it, we gotta do it soon. So we're gonna go try. Hopefully it's gonna go perfectly today. Let's go. Hey you guys, so we are at the park and actually I like putting directions to a park and the park I thought I was going to is not the park we just came to. <laughs> so we've never been to this park before, but it looks pretty nice, right Levi? There's it's actually, tiny. well it's actually pretty not tiny because there's one place set right here, which is the one he's talking about, that's kind of small, but then I'll show you guys when we get outside. It just might be windy, so I don't want to try and talk to you guys if it's noisy outside but then there's also another playground down a ways and then there's picnic tables there's a walking trail and so I feel like there's lots of places that we should be able to find to leave our books at so we're just going to take our books here it's gonna take our 12 books we're gonna try and be like secretive and leave them places and then the kids are gonna play and uh, we'll call it a day Right? I was thinking, and so if you guys run into this problem, I was thinking that if there was a lot of kids here, because in our parks in Florida, they would always, pretty much always be busy. Like, it didn't matter. Yeah. So, I really was worried because the parks here, they're not nearly as big, and they're not nearly as busy. But I was worried if there was a lot of kids here, like, how would we kind of just leave our books and so I was thinking that maybe me and the kids would just go up to parents and let them pick a book for their kids and just tell them what we're doing but because there's not a ton of kids here there's a few but there's not a ton we're just gonna drop them off um, on picnic tables and leave them around so that's what we're gonna go do you guys can come with us and uh, the kids are gonna have fun you guys ready yes yeah, bye <laughs> So it is pretty windy and so we're thinking that a lot of our books would probably blow away and so we're going to take advantage of this free little library and we're just going to put our books that are like kind of lightweight in there like the one Lael, Lael has. So if people want to like you know keep using it for the little library I mean I think that's nice too. So we'll just let people decide if they want to keep it because it does have our card on it or if they just want to put it in the library. So we're going to put a bunch of our lightweight books right in here right now. It and then, a very tiny amount. Well, that should be heavy enough. Here, take any other ones may out of here that feel lightweight. Like that we don't think that we could just sit. Like, yeah, probably this one. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely this one. The rest of those are all hard. So I don't think they'll blow away. And give me a hard one. Put, okay, maybe yeah. put one on the merry-go-round. And then some can just go on these tables, me. Like we can open them. You think it'll be okay? We'll just set them. Maybe we'll just set them down here. Somebody can find them. <laughs> she did it! Woo, woo, woo. That is a that is big. Let's put them all in the library. Yeah. Hey you guys, 
guys, so we are all done. Um, did it go as planned? No. no, no Was no. it a fail? Um, kind no. of. I would say no. No. Although it's definitely, like, I almost think it worked out as it was supposed to because okay. had we, had they not had that free little library here, our books would have blown all over the place and it would have really been a fail and I would have had nowhere to, like, put them all because even our hardest covered books were blown about, like, scattered all over the place, weren't they? So I think that, honestly, it was, like, destined for that free little library to be here for us to put our books inside of that so that kids and and it's kind of good too because kids are already like have the habit of being able to come here and get books and know that they can do that so i think it actually worked out like as it was meant to be even though we had no idea we didn't plan that at all it worked out perfectly and our cards are all on there so you know maybe they'll know that they can keep those library books library books those gift <laughs> books and if they want to put them back in there for other kids to read then that's great too i think mm -hmm. you guys have anything levi you got any words awesome <laughs> we just want to say happy easter from our family to your family we hope you guys have a great time relaxing and reflecting on the fact that jesus died for us he loves us and he arose again because he desires for us to be with him and to have a relationship with him. Bail, any words? Uh, I think you guys should try this. It's pretty amazing, but <laughs> I wouldn't really do it on a windy day. Yeah, because Wisconsin's windy. Who knew? <laughs> be easier to do in a warmer place, I guess. Yeah, at Florida, this would have been way easy, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It would have been a lot easier to do than it is here. So I think you have to know like where your community and like where's the best place to do something like this at. But it ended up working out for us. And so even if you wanted to, I think it'd be nice to donate a kid's books to a school, to a library. You could donate kids books to like a children's hospital. I mean, there's lots of there's lots of places. <laughs> Those are usually for used books. Anyways, that's all for this one. We hope you guys liked it. And if you did, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, then I hope that means that you enjoyed this video, which means that you should give it a thumbs up. Right, Leo? Yes. You should like it. <laughs> yes. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel on YouTube if you're watching over there. And if you're watching over on Facebook, make sure to like my page so that you don't miss any more Acts of Kindness videos because they're our favorite things to do. We throw in some goofy stuff too. We like to keep you on your toes. <laughs> See you guys. Close it out, me.